Good morning, everyone. Today is the first day of sophomore year. My voice right now is so bad, but I never wake up this early. And yes, I was up kind of late last night. So yeah. Um. bit more awake now that I brush my teeth and wash my face so now I'm gonna change my outfit because I like having my outfit on first this is the outfit that I have laid out I think it looks super cute here is the outfit and I'm taking this bonnet off so if you didn't know I got braids for back to school it's normally something I do every year but this is what the outfit looks like these pants are a little big a little baggy but I think the outfit is super cute. So my top is from Brandy. My jeans are from American Eagle. And my shoes are Converse. And I have the Red Heart Brandy Melville socks on. If you know, you know, but no one can really see them. So that's that's great. Um, I look super crazy in all the lighting right now. But the next thing we're gonna do now that I have my outfit on is go ahead and do my makeup routine and then we're gonna fix up my edges. My top keeps going down and my bra keeps showing, which I think is kind of a concern, but the top is really cute. So I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. But what I am going to do for sure is tie my hair up so that it's a little bit easier to do my makeup. To start off my makeup, since we already washed my face, I'm going to put on my moisturizer. This is the CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Cream and it is nice and thick and really moisturizing. So I just get some of my nails like that and then I put it on my hands, rub it together, and then I put it all over my face. This stuff really provides like a thick layer and especially because I don't wear a lot of makeup, I want to have like a nice thick moisturizer since I don't put on like foundation or anything like that. And just because like moisturizer for your skin is really good, of course. I also like to bring down some of the moisturizer to my neck because your neck is kind of an extension of your face. Look at me being a little beauty guru. It's, it's too early but that looks pretty good so now we're gonna do my actual makeup we are going to start off with concealer i don't really know how to say this brand i think it's like lacombe i don't know but um it's one that the guy in ulta recommended to me and all i use concealer for is just under my eyes because these eye bags they're not good so we want to just cover them up so i look more energized when I go out in public. I'm going to use this mirror so that I can see better than the mirror that's further from me. And I'm gonna put a couple dots underneath my eye. And I get my beauty blender, which I'll probably need to get a new one because this is a little bit dirty, so. And then I start just tapping the concealer in and blending it. Now that I have some of it blended in, um, it's not fully blended in yet, so I'm gonna take this finger. I always forget what finger this is. It's really embarrassing. And then I'm just going to tap it in. I think that's looking pretty good. I'm like looking in the mirror and I think it looks decent. I might add a little bit more on because my eye bag is kind of still showing. But for now, we're just gonna go ahead and put some underneath the other eye. Same thing as last time, I went underneath my eye with the beauty blender and then now I'm just going to blend the rest out with my finger. In my opinion, this just leaves a more seamless finish. It's not perfect because I don't think my shade is exactly right, but it's what has been working for me recently. And this is what the finished concealer looks like. I think I'm gonna put just a little bit more on, blend it out, and then we will keep moving on with my routine. I think it looks so much better. I'm just rinsing my fingers off. 
So our next step in our routine is going to be mascara. I just picked this one up from Ulta a couple days ago and I don't really know how I feel about it. I can't tell if I like it. I don't know if it's good. I feel like it's a little bit bad, but I just make $28 on this. It was gift cards, but still, I want to try and make it good and like use it for a while, you know? So I get my gift card money's worth. Anyways, this is the Clinique High Impact Waterproof Mascara. The label is kind of impossible to read in general with lighting but maybe you're able to see that i definitely think i'm gonna have to adjust the straps on this top so that it stops falling down right now though it is 6 23 i keep turning my phone off my bad it's 6 23 okay now we're gonna put on this mascara even though i don't know exactly how i feel about it okay that was a really silent pro process but I got it all on. My lashes aren't super long in the first place, so it's not like a crazy difference, but I still like putting some on. And the last product I'm gonna be using that I kinda count as makeup, I guess, is Aquaphor. I know the Aquaphor isn't actually a makeup product, but I don't use lip gloss, instead I use this. So I kind of consider it being makeup. Even though it really does not change my physical appearance much at all now my makeup is pretty much done that's literally all i do sometimes i get really bad bumps right here so i put some concealer there but i don't really have any bumps today which is great so i don't think i have to put any concealer on last but not least i really just need to do my hair and normally on a day-to-day -day basis that's what i'm spending all my time on spending it on my hair because my hair is absolute crazy mess when it's curly i don't know where my edge brush is but i'm gonna try <laughs> And look for that, my forehead looks so big. So we can lay our edges. Found my edge brush. It's literally one my hairdresser gave me. But my edge routine is really simple because my baby hairs are really thin and they don't need much to lay down. So what I like to do is wet my edge brush and then I just like go over all my edges and like pull them out. They're already kind of pulled out right now. Anyways, but I just like to get the little edges I have all out invisible. I get just a little bit of my verb curl cream actually. I think I got out too much, like my edges are not even that existent. <laughs> but we're just gonna use this for now. And I brush in some of the product, this just helps them lay down. But like I said, it doesn't take much, like I could really just use water. And then I actually like to start attempting to slick them. And I just do tiny little swoops. I'm gonna actually just use my mirror because it makes it a lot easier. And I just get the little hair and swoop. Get the little hair and swoop. Get the little hair and swoop. And then I repeat those same steps. Somewhere in the middle of recording that last clip, my SD card got full and I didn't know till I was done with my edges. So yeah, I don't really know when that clip stopped. My edges look a little bit crazy, but I don't think they're gonna be noticeable at all. So I think we're all good. I don't need any mousse right now because these braids are super, super fresh. Like they are still kind of stiff actually. Um, for styling my hair, I'm going to do a little half up, half down hairstyle. I take sections of hair from the front and then I just lower them to the back of my head and I tie a little ponytail back there. You could leave your hair back, but I like bringing the underneath section forward and that is the hairstyle. This routine is going by so, so quick. I'm going to put on my jewelry and then we're gonna do deodorant lotion and we're pretty much going to be done here in the bathroom. Now for my deodorant and lotion. I'm going to be using the Dove Advanced Care Caring Coconut Deodorant. This is what she looks like. Right now I'm going to clean up my bathroom and put all my products away because they're just laying out everywhere right now. And then I have something I need to do off camera and then I will come back once I am done. So bye, bye for now. What is up you guys? So I am back from doing my little thing off camera and now we're going to be putting everything in my bag for school. Um, honestly, I pretty much have everything. This is my bag. It's a black jam sport. I had the same one last year. And all I need to do is put my AirPods in here. 
And I'm gonna put this little jacket in here. Now I'm going downstairs and the rest of the stuff I need to put in my bag is going to be my water bottle and my lunchbox. I'm in the kitchen now and I'm actually, I'm gonna go set my bag down. My lunch isn't ready to be packed yet. My dad makes it for me. Thank you so much, dad. So what I'm gonna do is fill up my Awala water bottle with water and ice, obviously. <laughs> I just realized how cockeyed that camera shot was. But this is my water bottle, and I'm just gonna leave it right next to my lunch box. Um, I don't really know what to do now because my breakfast is cooking. I have, what time is it? We have like 20 minutes before we need to leave. So, yeah, I don't really know what I'm gonna do right now. I kinda, I, won't, I think I'm actually gonna go clean up my bedroom a little bit and I might be eating breakfast on the way to school at this rate because I don't think I'm gonna have any time to eat it here, unfortunately. <laughs> Okay, you guys, so I just finished getting my bag packed and my breakfast actually just came out. I'm having some hash rounds and some tofu scramble and I think we're gonna be eating that on the way there. So that was pretty much the get ready with me for the first day of sophomore year. Kind of chaotic, kind of racing at the end, um, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, make sure my videos now that you're done with this one and I will see you guys very soon back with another video. Peace out and goodbye.